How's it going, you guys? AZFlyout21 back again with another episode here in our UFC save on WMMA5. And here today, we have UFC on ESPN, Cerrone versus Hooker. Our main event, Cowboy Donald Cerrone taking on Dan Hooker in the lightweight division. You can see the rest of the main card here. Ben Askren taking on RDA, Darren Elkins, Edson Barbosa, Paul Felder in action, Ricky Simone, Alex Perez, Kai Car France. A pretty good card here today live from Colorado. Haven't put them on, <laughs> on TV yet. We got to make sure that people actually watch this. So let's go ahead and put it on our TV providers. Want to get as much money as possible from these cards that we put on. Super excited for what's coming up tomorrow afternoon, UFC 251. Be sure to follow me here on whether it's YouTube or Twitter. And also, if you're watching, be sure to leave your uh, Discord username down below. We are thinking about doing, um, you know, some Discord calls when I do my streams. You know, I think that'd be pretty cool to do in order to get, you know, you guys a little bit more involved. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and leave your Discord username down below. Or just, you know, DM me on Twitter or something like that. But glad you guys are here. UFC on ESPN, Cerrone versus Hooker. Everything else is taken care of. Let's get right into our fight card here today. First prelim of the afternoon, Kazamasa Majima takes on Enrique Barzola in the featherweight division. Majima 12 and 1, Barzola is 16, 6 and 2, and Majima gets his second straight win here in the UFC over Barzola. Wins over Gatowski and now Barzola. TJ, I see you fight Island indeed. Getting ready for tomorrow afternoon. Super excited. In the heavyweight division, Jorgen DeCastro taking on Brett Big Dog Martin. Martin 11-1-1, DeCastro undefeated at 7-0. And, oh, and Big Dog Martin gets the win via knockout in round number two. Happy to have won in his UFC debut. Up next, Felice will be Little, Bill, <laughs> Little Bulldog Herrick taking on Kanako Murata. I think Murata was literally just signed to the UFC um, in real life. She's 1-0 here. Uh, after a win over Danielle Taylor. Uh, but Murata having a good time of it here as well. Facing off against Felice Herrig. And she gets the win via TKO. And give me one second here. Get some uh, get some music going. Not sure why I don't have any music playing. What's up with that? All right. Good to go. Murata gets the win and calls it an excellent fight. Up next, Magomed Magomedov. That's a lot of mags and edoffs. Taking on Kyle the Monster Nelson out of uh, Ontario, Canada. The underdog at plus 110. Kyle Nelson loses. Submits to the Kimura in round number two. Up next, Movsar Evloweb taking on Cole the Coltrane Smith in the Bantamweight division. And Cole Smith gets the split decision over Movsar Evloev. The British Columbian Canadian Cole Smith getting the win there. Another bantamweight fight between Luca Iovine and Douglas Silva Diandraj. And Iovine gets the split decision. Hockey already giving out his uh, predictions. Max George, Jan Andraj. What about the uh, what about the other fight? Key Boss and Paige Van Zant. What you got there? Jake Hadley taking on Rio Hada in the flyweight division. Hada, a huge favorite at 15 and six, making his UFC debut here today. Uh, Jake Hadley 0 and 1 in the UFC, and make that 0 and 2 and make that cut for Jake Hadley. Loses to Rio Hada via submission. Janelle Lausa taking on Hiromasa Oji Kubo. Also in the flyweight division, 8-4 is Lausa Oji Kubo, 25-2. And, and Lausa gets a, a win here, a big win in a fantastic fight over Oji Kubo. 
I believe uh, Hockey meant to put Hibas there. R I B A S. Fantastic fight for Lausa as he gets the win. Melissa, Super Melly Martinez taking on Jessica Del Boni in the women's strawweight division. Martinez undefeated but is the underdog and she loses her first fight in her career to Jessica Del Boni via submission. Del Boni now 2 0 in the UFC wins over Alyssa Cron and now Martinez. Austin Thud Hubbard taking on Christian Simon in the lightweight division. Hubbard a small favorite and he loses via knockout in round number one to Christian Simon. 10 and 1 now and 2 and 0 in the UFC. Wins over Daniel Tamier and now Austin Hubbard. Moving on now in the flyweight division, our first main card fight. Alex Perez takes on Kai Cara France. Cara France, 5-2 in the UFC, coming off a win over Magomed Bibulatov. Meanwhile, Alex Perez, 7-1 in the UFC, number 6 flyweight in the division, coming off straight wins over Jared Brooks and Rogerio Bontorin. And Alex Perez gets... <laughs> gets the unanimous decision victory over Kai Carr of France. So it's a big win for him. Number seven in the UFC. I mean, he's probably one fight away from a title shot. Ricky Simone taking on Cody Stamen in the Bantamweight division. Stamen having a good go of it. Coming off a draw to Yadong Song and then beating Douglas Silva de Andrade. And Ricky Simone coming off three straight wins here. His fourth fight here in the save against Yadong Song, Frankie Edgar, and Cody Garbrandt. He's now number five, taking on Cody Stammen. And Ricky Simone gets the win via armbar submission in round number three. Now four straight wins for Ricky Simone. And I'd uh, I'd guess he's he's probably one good win away from a title shot as well. He says he wants to fight Jan next. Interesting call out. Up next, Paul Felder, everyone's favorite commentator, taking on Rustam Kabalov in the lightweight division. Felder, heavy underdog here, coming off a no contest loss to Anthony Pettis. And Kabalov, 12 and 3 in the UFC, coming off two straight wins over David Tamer and TJ Grant. And Rustam Kabalov gets the win via split decision over Paul Felder. Tough break for Felder there. Kabalov praises him for his toughness. That's uh, three straight now for Kabalov. Darren Elkins, the damage, taking on Edson Barbosa in the featherweight division. Barbosa, a huge favorite here. 20 and 9 is his record. Coming off a loss to Chad Mendez. Darren Elkins, number 14 in the UFC, coming off two straight wins over Kevin Aguilar and Ricardo Ramos. And Edson Barbosa via submission. Has Edmund Shabazian. Yeah, oh, he lost his first fight a long time ago. A long time ago. He's lost three straight, I think, now, which sucks because <laughs> I was trying to build him up. All right, so Barbosa gets a win there. And now we're at our co-main event of the evening. Funky Ben Askren taking on Rafael Dos Anjos. Hassan Lloyd, how's it going, man? Thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying your afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. It's uh, 11 p.m. where I'm at, so hope you're enjoying yourself. All right, Ben Askren taking on Rafael Dos Anjos. RDA, of course, a veteran of the Octagon. Coming off a loss to Gunnar Nelson and a win over Damian Maya. Meanwhile, Ben Askren coming off a win over Alex Oliveira and then a loss to Vicente Luque. Askren, the small favorite there, and he gets the win. Unanimous decision win for funky Ben Askren. Rafael Dos Anjos continues to regress a little bit, and Ben Askren... 
says he wants to fight Alexei Kunchenko. That's an interesting call out. And Ben, yes, he most certainly did get his ass beat in five seconds. Matter of fact, the guy that beat his ass in five seconds fights tomorrow night. Really excited for that Masvidal and Usman fight. Hope you guys are too. Main event of the evening, Donald Cowboy Cerrone taking on Dan the Hangman Hooker in our lightweight main event. Dan Hooker, 21-9. Coming off a loss to Dustin Poirier and then a win over Alexander Hernandez. Meanwhile, Cowboy Cerrone lost to Do Bronx Oliveira and then got a win over Francisco Trinaldo. Hassan Lloyd's going for Hooker here. And, I mean, why not? He had a good showing against Dustin Poirier. And, yeah, Cowboy didn't really have the uh, the best time against McGregor. All right, main event time. Let's go. Eve Levine, your referee. That's a callback. Hooker hits him with the jab. Cerrone, a couple more jabs. Maybe the, the, the experience is just going to be a little bit too much here for Hooker. Remember, earlier on in this save, we did have Hooker versus Poirier as a fight card main event, and then Hooker lost, obviously. Halfway through round number one, takedown attempt from Cowboy. He can't get it. Cerrone looking for another takedown, and he gets it. Hooker seated against the end of the cage. Tries to transition to a guard. Arm triangle attempt. And round one ends. Going to stop real quick. Hassan Lloyd asking when I usually stream. Honestly, there's no real schedule to it. All that I know is that I typically do the, the pay-per-views. Like the in-game pay-per-views on a Saturday. So that's typically when I do it. So I try to do a big stream on the weekend where I do like the pay-per-view. And then I do like a big like two-hour stream where I go over the next month of fight cards. And I try to book as well. Um, but yeah, glad that you're able to join. Um, it's a wild ride doing this. So happy that, uh, you've decided to come along. Be sure to, uh, go to my YouTube channel as well as if you miss a stream, I do post everything, um, on my YouTube channel as well. Quick exchange of strikes. Cerrone took round number one for sure. Right hand gets blocked, absorbed on the gloves. Hooker defending well, but he's not really doing much of anything. Two counter left hands from Cowboy. Counter jab for Cerrone. Hooker not really landing much here. And some of someone, I, I forgot who it was, but someone's getting tired already in round number two. Round two's over, and apparently that one also went to Cowboy. Anderson Silva's your favorite fighter. Uh, my favorite fighter has to be Daniel Cormier. I've been a fan of his ever since Strike Force. He's just uh, he's a likable guy, you know. I like John Jones too, but you know it's kind of hard being a John Jones fan. But yeah, Daniel Cormier is probably my favorite fighter. I can't wait for his. Uh, third fight with Stipe. I wish we were able to actually go to the fight because that's going to be his retirement fight more than likely. So I wish I could be there, but it is what it is. Uh, Cerrone getting a little tired. Left jab. Scores with a kick to the ribs. Minute left to go in the round. I will tell you this. Tomorrow afternoon I will definitely be streaming. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of a Discord uh, call going as well to try to uh, be able to talk to some of you guys because I I think that'd be really cool, you know, to talk during one of these kind of streams and, you know, maybe get some people's opinions on the pay-per-view tomorrow. Yeah, it sucks what happens to Gilbert Burns, um, but it is what it is. I mean, he tested pause. Uh-oh, Hooker cut above his eye. Hooker can't hit a white right cross. Cerrone trying to, to land here. Both guys are really tired. Less than... Uh, a minute gone in round number four. Gilbert Burns, it, suck what ha it sucks what happened to him, but it's undeniable that the fight that we have now is much more exciting. 
TJ Hockey a big Mike Perry fan? Did you see what happened to him the other day? He's going to rehab, and he's not going to have a fight for a while. Hooker pinned against the cage. Uh, no, I didn't make any rule changes for the promotion. It's straight UFC. No pride rules, nothing like that. I do stream... Um, I have another save that I stream on here where it's uh, where it is pride, but it's pride from like 1996. Round number four is over. And 10 to 9 apparently to Cerrone. So Hooker might need a stoppage here. Hooker's got to come out guns blazing. Hassan says he likes Uberine. Well, I have uh, news for you. He tested positive for steroids right at the beginning of the stream. So he's still on suspension right now. Hooker does not have a lot left to give. Hooker going for a takedown now. Hooker going for a takedown. Can't get it. Cerrone going for a takedown and he gets it. I think Donald Cerrone may have won this one. He may be giving Hooker his 10th loss of his career. Can we allow steroids? Unfortunately, we cannot. Um, as fun as it would be, um, I like to you know pride myself on running this save with a little bit of realism. So if anyone does test positive, they're they're done. You know, like TJ Dillashaw is just barely coming back. He just came back, and he lost his uh, comeback fight to Uriah Faber. So yeah, steroids is a no go. Time runs out. The fight is over. Apparently. Last round went to Cerrone. Looks like the Cowboy has won this one. Let's see what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 50-45 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. So Cowboy Cerrone getting the win via unanimous decision. And Dan Hooker getting his 10th loss of his career. So win over Trinaldo. Now win over Hooker for Cowboy. Let's see if he makes a, a call out here. He says he would like to fight Benil Dariush next. Now that might sound strange considering he's not ranked now. But in game, Benil Dariush I believe is like top 15. So that's a pretty realistic call out. For Cowboy Cerrone. You ever see a fighter who's great in real life but sucks in this game? It does happen before. Um, Habib just lost to McGregor in this game. Uh, we just had Habib versus McGregor too. Habib lost, which I don't think would happen. So, it happens, you know. Alright. Tenants of 2000, not the best. It is what it is. Popularity, unchanged. Uh, we, no, that's not the fight of the night. Where is it? Ooh, excellent. That's right. So we're going to give Fight of the Night to Murata and Herrig, but we're going to give Lausa a performance bonus. And then were there any early stoppages? Uh, Edson Barbosa gets a performance bonus. Took a small loss on that card, but it's mainly because RDA and Barbosa are still on their original contracts. Who are we pushing as the top guy? Um... I guess you could say McGregor because he has the most hype behind him, obviously. And he's won both of his fights so far in this game. Um, as far as like who we're trying to push, it was Shabazian. It was Edmund Shabazian, but he lost. He, he's lost all of his fights so far, so uh, really can't do that much with him. Uh, definitely trying to get uh, Chase Hooper going. Definitely trying to get Sean O'Malley going, but he just tested positive for... Um, was it recreational drugs? Yeah. Yeah, Habib does have a tendency to fall off. Um, mainly just because his stand-up, you know, his stats for stand-up aren't really that good. And, I mean, it is what it is, but it sucks. Because, <laughs> uh... You want Habib to obviously be like this super powerful guy, you know, whether it's in real life or, you know, in this game. But real quick, whether you're watching on YouTube or whether you're watching live on Twitch, I am going to be going on Twitch. I will be streaming tomorrow afternoon. That's July 11th, 
right before UFC 251 gets underway. And I'm going to be going live around noon time, Arizona time. So whether you're 3 p.m. in New York or whether you're in, you know, Brazil, maybe it's like 2 p.m. But at noon, Arizona, USA time, I will be going live on Twitch um, for the pay-per-view in game. And that pay-per-view is Holloway versus Zabit for the featherweight title. Tommy, get some sleep, my man. Apparently, you were up all night. It is what it is. Enjoy the rest of your morning, I guess, since it's 7 a.m. Wake up in time to watch the fights. I'd imagine they're at, like, what? In the morning, right? No, yeah, they're going to be at like 3 a.m. for you. Are you going to try to stay up to watch all those fights? boy Tommy way too good of a car to miss all right have a good night man see you tomorrow we will be streaming tomorrow just in case you want to join of course as always we'll update our rankings take a look at our emails resign everybody we have to resign release people that we have to release and then we'll go ahead and call it a day of course the next time that I see you guys for this will be for our next pay-per-view, the main event of which is Zabit Magomed Sharapov and Max Holloway. All right. Wonder Boy versus McDonald. Clean test. You love to see that. So let's go ahead. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. I saw. All right. So let's go and update our rankings. Uh, nothing going on at heavyweight. Light heavyweight, no movement. Middleweight, there is no movement. At welterweight, Ben Askren moves up to number 13. Gilbert Burns moves up one, and RDA is now down to number 21. Hassan, I have some very bad news for you. Where, uh, where are we at here? Uh, event history. How long ago was it now? So back, uh, was it like, yeah, 11, 4? So it was like four months ago, essentially. Anderson Silva retired after losing to Jack Hermanson. And I can't bring him back. He's too old. I tried to talk him out of retirement, but he just won't come back. So Anderson Silva is unfortunately gone. You can see he's retired. But he had a good, you know, time while he was uh, here in, in, in this game. Uh, he beat Johnny Walker at light heavyweight, which, good for him. I know. Very sad, Hassan. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rankings once again. Uh, so, yeah, RDA goes down to number 21 at lightweight. Cowboy Cerrone up to number 8. He called out Dariush, who's there at number 9. Who is Dariush fighting? Dariush is fighting Al Yaquinta. It's a big fight for him. Uh, so yeah, Cowboy moves up to eight. Paul Felder down to twenty. Dan Hooker down to thirteen. Kabalov up to fifteen. At featherweight, Barbosa up to number six. Mendez moves down one. Darren Elkins down all the way to number eighteen. At bantamweight, Ricky Simone moves up one spot to number four. Uh, Brock is retired. I can't bring him back. And then Kane is fighting. Rafael Asunsa moves up one spot. Cody Stamen down to number 14. Uh, Kane Velasquez is number 10 in the heavyweight division, and he has a fight scheduled against Alexander Volkov. He's recently coming off a win over Jair Rosenstrike. So yeah, Simone moves up one spot. Uh, Stamen down to 14. Flyweight, Alex Perez moves up to number 5. Mighty Mouse moves down one spot. 
Cara France moves down to number 10. Uh, nothing at featherweight. Bantamweight, nothing going on. Flyweight, nothing going on. And strawweight, Murata in at number 15. Zapatella at number 18. But I'm sending her down to Invicta. Although, should I? Yeah. Yeah, I should. She needs a, a little bit more seasoning at strawweight, I think. Even though she is ranked. Uh, or you know what? Should I keep her? She's already ranked. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send her back down. All right, and then Murata obviously moves us to number 15. Okay, let's take a look at those emails. Uh, Mike Grundy is injured. McGregor versus Gillespie card. And that's uh, next month. Kevin Aguilar needs a new opponent. He's number 15. Ideally, I would like for it to be somebody. Is there anybody ranked who can go? Feely, Mendez, Yair Rodriguez. That fight actually makes sense. Let's go and do this. Rodriguez versus Aguilar. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, everybody wants uh, Tinanis, Tinanis, however you pronounce this name. Uh, let's go ahead and bump that offer up. Yep. Everyone's just lobbying for that fight. I of I needs to be renewed. 2 0 in the UFC. Definitely going to re sign him. Douglas Silva, Deandrage, four and five. Uh, lost a couple fights in a row. A little of regional. Let's go ahead and cut him. Rafael Dos Anjos needs to be renewed. Let's go and take care of him. Edson Barbosa needs to be renewed. A lot of renewals, actually. Yikes. Christian Simon. Go ahead and renew him. 2-0 in the UFC. Kyle Nelson. 2-3. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, and keep him around. Keep him on a tight leash. Evloev. Coming off a lot. Two straight losses. Uh-oh. Go ahead and cut him. Cole Smith. Uh, he's coming off a win, so we'll go ahead and re-sign him. Austin Hubbard. Coming off a loss. Lightweight, two and three. Go ahead and cut him. Jessica Delboni, she's two and zero oh in the UFC. Keep her around for sure. Give her an Invicta contract. Jake Hadley, he's zero oh and two. He's definitely gone. Melissa Martinez, one and one. Invicta contract for you, ma'am. Majima, he's 2 0. Keep him around for sure. Alrighty. Uh, Janelle Lausa just saved his job, honestly, for from being in that exciting fight. Alright. The rest of that I can take care of later. No C-level fights for Kane. 
All right, you guys. I do appreciate you guys watching, whether it's on stream or on YouTube. The next time I see you guys, of course, will be for UFC. Oh, does it really not show it? Well, the next time I see you guys will be for UFC 260. Holloway versus Zabit. Main card is as follows. Curtis Blades versus Stipe, Stipe Miocic. Jose Aldo versus Pedro Munoz. That's going to be a great fight. Weili Zhang versus Carla Esparza for the strawweight title. Shevchenko versus Jillian Robertson for the women's flyweight title. And Max Holloway versus Zabit Magomed Sharapov for the featherweight championship of the world. My name is AZPloud21. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And be sure to follow me on Twitch. Subscribe on Twitch. Do whatever you got to do. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon for the big stream before UFC 251. I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of your night.